So the ClickBank Hoplink Explained. Let's hear straight from the horse's mouth, ClickBank, to what they have to say about what it is and a few more details, and then I'll show you how you can create one yourself and make it a little bit more attractive so you can actually get a lot more clicks out of the hoplinks that you create. First and foremost, hoplinks are referral tracking URLs that perform two important functions in the ClickBank seller slash affiliate relationship. For one, hoplinks direct a potential customer from an affiliate's content to the seller's sales page where they can purchase products, and two, the hoplink tracks where sales come from, allowing affiliates to get paid commission on the sales they facilitate. It is critical that ClickBank affiliates to learn how to integrate hoplinks into your promotional content because when a hoplink is clicked, that indicates to the ClickBank hop referral tracking system that the potential customer assessed to the seller's page via your content. If the potential customer makes a purchase within 60 days of accessing the seller's page, you will receive commission for that sale. In other words, you get a cookie for about 60 days. So if they click on your affiliate link and they purchase within that specific amount of time without clicking on someone else's link, you can still get the commission, which is really cool. Now, that's pretty much the overview when it comes to the hop link. In other words, it's just a pretty way of saying your affiliate link for a specific ClickBank product. Let's head on over to the affiliate marketplace. Now, what I'm going to do is say we click on the X appear. Let's say we want to promote it. So I'm going to click on the promote button. And upon doing so, there's going to be two things that you can fill out right here. Well, mostly one. First and foremost, it's going to have your ClickBank nickname right here. I actually did a completely different video when it comes to picking that if you need help when it comes to choosing your nickname. It's a very popular video. I will put that also in the description. Oh, in case I forget, I will put the link to the ClickBank article that describes the hop links as well. Next is going to be your tracking ID. This is going to be beneficial if you are promoting the specific offer in different tracks traffic sources. So let's say you have a Facebook group, you want to put like FB group, and then you're going to generate the hop link. Then what you would do if you're promoting it somewhere else, you're going to want to create a different tracking link that has a different tracking ID. This is beneficial for you because you want to know where you get your affiliate sales from. This is really important if you're doing paid traffic because it allows you to kind of scale up what's working and decline and steady and reduce what's not working. Anyway, once you have that, I'm just going to leave this blank for now. Click on generate hop links. And just like that, this is going to be your hop shield encrypted hop link. Overall, it is not the prettiest thing in the world, but what you can do is actually copy this. And if you have a website, I highly recommend that you check out pretty links. Let's look at that now. So pretty links is just a custom link shortener. It's free. There is a paid version you don't need. Uh, you can use the free one. And if you have WordPress, it's very easy to set up. It's a plugin and I'll actually show you right here. I created an example. So this is Exapure. Okay, and what you would do is you would type in or paste, excuse me, not type in, you would paste that long link and then you would just put Xappear at the end. So it's gonna have your domain slash Xappear. Now, I don't know about you, but this almost looks like a link that a lot of people aren't going to click. They're like, why is it so long? Why are all these num numbers and letters and like there's a hyphen or like, you know, whatever else is in it, it's always gonna be different, but it's not the most attractive link in the world. That's why I usually recommend some type of link shortener, like there's bit.ly, there's tiny URL, but if you have a website, Pretty Links is free and that's just a great way to get more clicks. Plus, if someone knows your website, it knows it's coming from something that you recommend, which is always good. So that's kind of my final tip when it comes to the ClickBank hop link. Use some type of like tiny link generator. It'll make it look better for the people in your traffic that are going to be clicking on your link instead of taking a look at this and wondering like, is this a safe link? You know, is this spam? It does kind of look weird, but they need that to be able to generate your unique link as we talked about. So you can get cookied in and so when someone clicks on your link and eventually they make a sale within 60 days, you get the commission, which is great. Thank you so much for watching this. I'm going to put up some recommended videos if you want some more ClickBank advice. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want more marketing related content. I do a lot of videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.